Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's my bronze beaker back at again with another review. And uh, let me just move the camera a little bit so you guys can take a closer look. Let me just move it. There, there we go. And anyway, holy fucking shit, guys. I have missed you so much. I have been gone for months. Um, I'm sorry that I've been gone. It's just that, you know, I got that fucking meta quest, not a uh, meta data not safe problem on my fucking YouTube channel and I couldn't upload shit, but I got it fixed, so um, I'm, you guys might be kind of, some of you might be happy for my return, but personally for me, I'm happy to be back and I'm happy to review more shit, because uh, I thought like when I got that metadata not safe problem, I was like, oh fuck, it's over, I tried to fix it, but I couldn't and I was like, oh fuck, I guess this is it, it's over, but like I, I got it to fix, uh, I got it fixed and I was able to upload the, uh, the Mune St. Croix, or I believe that's her name, or and the fucking Chod build a figure videos. So if you guys haven't checked those videos out, go um, check them out right now. Um, so yeah, I finally dropped them, and uh, this is me a couple months later. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're back with more reviews, and I'm happy to see you guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at what we're going to be taking a look at today. Today we have more DC Multiverse figures. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse, the Flash movie, Dark Flash figure. Um, so yeah, um, this figure was a really cool figure that caught my eye ever since the uh, movie Flash dropped and the figure started to release. This particular figure I really liked. I was really interested about this guy. Um, you guys notice the packaging is a little dusty. That's the reason because I already had this figure like months ago before I had my metadata problem um i bought this uh, i bought this figure back um what was that target like it was the summer uh today uh, right now it's august it's like oh wait no it's that's bullshit it's september 1st actually my bad um i bought this figure back in like july i think yeah in july and i was gonna review it but like i couldn't because you know metadata problem and i had to keep this figure under my shell uh under my desk for about like as, as a fucking long ass time and now look at the packaging but right now i get to open it and check it out anyway let me just talk more about this figure this figure was just i mean i, I really it, it was just a cool figure but um i just really didn't know who the dark flash was i mean i i was like wait there's like a dark flash movie i was uh, uh the flash movie dark flash but um i was thinking wait so dark flash is gonna be like the what was it the other DC Multiverse Black Flash that I reviewed? But um, I don't know who the hell this was supposed to be. I thought when I first saw pictures of this guy, I thought it was gonna be sex, like some sort of Kryptonian, like good or something. Because obviously in the trailer we saw that Zod and like you know Flash was gonna go back in time and like you know fight Zod or some shit. I don't fucking know, but um, I did see the movie. I just don't want to spoil it for you guys if you guys haven't seen the movie or should I just spoil it? Nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna spoil it. You guys don't want to watch the spoilers. You guys can just skip ahead, like, I don't know, do the video, or yeah, if you guys just want to fucking, I don't know, like, hop off, but I don't care. So, basically, the Dark Flash is an evil version of Barry Allen in another timeline. Uh, basically, um, basically, the, the current Barry Allen from the universe goes back in time to see the death of his mother, and well not the, the death of his mother but he has to prevent his dad from going to jail and he encounters his younger self and this is basically his younger self or his older self um who's trying to save you know who's trying to save batman and supergirl for do all 40 years and he's starting to develop kryptonian like shards and stuff but uh, I feel like I feel like kind of an asshole for spoiling it, but anyway. So let's go ahead and check out the pa uh, check, take a look at the packaging, and not waste any more time. So as we can see, we got the DC Multiverse logo right there. We got the Flash right there, looking pretty good. Dark Flash down there. Start, uh, the Flash movie up there. Twenty-two points of articulation or moving parts. That's what it says. Ages twelve and up. McFarlane toys. It's not a package. We get like just a little peek of window. DC Multiverse Dark Flash. And other bullshit. <laughs> Side of the packaging, Dark Flash, the Flash movie, everything, etc., etc. Back of the packaging, we get nothing but except a picture of the Dark Flash, which looks pretty cool. Honestly, that that's actually that's actually a pretty good, you know, uh, picture of it if you guys see it. 
But um, looks cool though. I can't wait to get it open. Uh, there's a barcode if you guys want to scan that. I don't know what that is. Dark Flash up there, McFarlane Toys. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and see what he's all about. And here we have the Dark Flash figure out of his packaging. I'm just fucking give this shit away. Uh, so yeah, so the things that he comes with is obviously this card, which has a really nice comic-looking picture on his card there. And on the back, you guys can go ahead and read that. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can take a closer look. If you guys want to read that, then be my guest. Okay. And obviously, DC Multiverse figure cannot be one if he doesn't come with his DC Multiverse stand. I think I might be able to use this because um, I've been messing around with this guy, and uh, it's the best I could get him to stand, but it's still pretty nice that they always include these. So now let's go ahead and check out the figure. So here is the Dark Flash. I gotta say, this figure looks well, well done. I really like how they did this figure. I mean, this this guy just looks like... Holy fuck me, holy goddamn, look at this guy. This guy's just obviously cool. I mean, just taking it out of the box, he's like, he's really spiky too, like, goddamn. But anyway, um, let's check out the details here. There's so much to go over. Uh, here's his face, I really do like that demonic looking face right there. His open mouth and stuff. It's just really nice. Do like that yellow paint, or like the yellow light lightning thing that's on top of his head which looks pretty cool um on the back of his head you guys can see like these spikes forming on the back I mean, man, damn bro like just look at him look at this the spikes right here wow it's just damn this guy's just sick i think just, like the shards coming out of his arms like the kryptonian things that he's been stabbed with it's like the lightning thing right there on his chest this guy looks like he was covered in tar damn look at him uh more of that spiky details right here not that much paint on this guy except for the chest piece and uh, the mouth and stuff but everything else looks pretty good and there's this big dark flash ass right there <laughs> Um, and the back of it just is nice. Damn, bro, how can he fucking go 40 years looking like this, bro? Holy shit. Jesus Christ, I mean, just, this guy's just, wow. But anyway, this guy, whew, can, can you imagine Barry Allen looking like this? Damn. How strong is this guy? I, I I guess he could win a fight against Savitar from the Flash TV show. I, I mean, that, that's just my personal preference, but this guy, damn. This guy can fucking kick anyone's ass. But anyway, yeah, the details look very nice. I really, really do enjoy having this figure. It looks exactly how it was in the film. Um... And damn, this guy is just phew, amazingly good. But um, anyway, as far as his articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It can move 
uh, side to side, it can move up and down like so. Uh, it's not limited of a joint, but like it, it's still pretty good. Uh, his arms can move outward, but not that much because of this uh, armor piece is blocking it. They can go forwards and back, not a full 360, because obviously the armor piece is like so. Uh, he has a swivel on the bicep, double jointed on the arms right here, and he has like a little bit of like thing coming out of him. And um, his obviously his hands on a swivel. This is on a double swivel right here, so it can also move and they can also bend like that. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention is that he has the cool, like, blade thing right here. Is that supposed to be hollow? And this thing this thing is hollow. Holy shit. Uh, why did it have to be hollow? I mean, it would have been nice if it would have been, like, like full, but... Is that, is that supposed to be hollow? I don't remember. I need to watch the film again because I really liked it. Um... The, uh, he has an ab crunch right here, like, you can lift it up and you can see the full effect on that. It has a stomach waist right here, obviously he has that rubbery thing right there. Uh, you can move, you can waist right like that, so you can move side to side like that. Not that much because it's really stiff, but it's pretty cool that you can do it. His legs can go backwards like so, they can also spread out. Uh, double joints on the knees, god damn, double joints on the knees. Uh, a hinge right here on the foot they can also bend like that and bend at the foot like that and they can also swivel like that too so which is pretty good um so yeah i'd say this figure is just incredibly amazing um damn but like this guy is just let me see if i can put him on a stand because i don't think he can stand good let's see if i can oh you guys can hear that shit There we go, and there he is in his stand. I, I think I might prefer him on his stand because I, I don't think he can stand very good on his own. I'm assuming he can, but I, I don't know. I just don't want him falling off my shelf. I don't want this beautiful masterpiece of a figure to break. But um, anyway, this figure, I I highly recommend him uh, putting him in your DC Multiverse collection because this guy just looks incredibly cool. Um, I'd say for the other figures, but... um. This guy is just, oh my god, this this guy's just amazingly good. I'm, I'm just going to pop him off his stand real quick. But, yeah, I mean, this guy, damn, the Dark Flash? I really like the idea how they um, decided to create his suit with Kryptonian uh, gear. I don't know what they fucking call it, Kryptonian stuff or... Meteorite or whatever the fuck they call this shit, but I know it's Kryptonian. I'll, I'll tell you that. But anyway, um, yeah, um, I can't wait for the Blue Beetle movie to come out. Uh, and the DC Multiverse, they they already, oh, why? What the fuck am I saying? Of course, the Blue Beetle movie came out, and they already released the figures. I really want to get my hands on that fucking Conrad Carapax figure. Holy shit, that guy looks is gonna be cool. But anyway, um, yeah, that was the Dark Flash. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was a figure. So, uh, yeah. Let me just see if I can fucking pose him real quick. Like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, yeah. That was the Dark Flash figure from the, from the Flash movie from DC Multiverse. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review because I have a lot of figures to review because of my problems. So yeah, take care guys. It was happy seeing you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.